it sounds like for the future you're planning to do uploads and maybe get into some skincare products. Can you go into that a little bit more? Do you have any, are these just in the initial stages or do you have some real concrete plans? Yeah, I mean, I had a sponsor for my bikini streams and like bikini reviews. So I would like to get into that. I kind of want to get into more than just bikinis and kind of do like actual like clothing in general. Um, and the skincare stuff. That one is newer to me, but I've been getting really into it lately, and I definitely want to start kind of doing some product reviews. Um, kind of just break it down what I know. I'm no esthetician. I don't know. My sister is. I'm not. I'm really passionate about, like, you know, taking care of your skin before it's too late. I'm pretty passionate about bikinis, designer handbags. I have... I don't know if you saw the stream where I had a Louis Vuitton bought for me, but I have three Louis Vuittons. I have two fake ones. I have a one real one. And I was thinking about getting into the handbag market too and reviewing those and kind of just going over. I, nobody's done a review or a comparison for a fake, a fake Louis Vuitton of the bag I have. I've looked for it. Um, I would technically be the first video to compare two different fakes that are completely different, by the way. They look very mm -hmm. similar, but they are you can tell they're not the same. Um, like, here, let me show you. So this one looks just like the real one, but it's totally fake. I paid $50 for it online, at like on like wish.com. And I wear it every day because nobody can tell it's fake, but there's a third one that looks so fake. It's like, it, it's meant to be this purse but you can tell it's a fake. Um, right. So I just kind of wanted to get into like comparing that stuff. And I don't know, I thought that'd be fun. Um, I mean, that's obviously limited. You can only go so far with that, which is why I wanted to do clothing. Clothing would probably be like the biggest thing. And if I could get more sponsors, then I can get more clothes to do more reviews on. What platform are you, are you using for this? Instagram YouTube. or? Okay, I need to YouTube. switch to Twitch though. And IBL has been really encouraging me to do that. I think I'm going to get like a green screen at the new place. So the new place, I think we're going to designate corners of the living room to doing our own thing. And we're going to make my corner, um, a recording corner. So I need to get some green screen and, you know, kind of protect my apartment. But, um, yeah, I think that's, that's the direction I want to go in. I notice on Kick they they have fake numbers, so I feel like if you're on IP2, you should stream on Kick, and then you'll go straight to the top. Because if you got like ten people watching, it'll say you have like two hundred and fifty people watching. Okay. It's like all fake numbers, and everybody at the top is is on Kick, and I feel like everyone's like jumping to Kick just for that reason. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so. I don't know. I don't know anything about Kick. I just know it's like the platform everybody's gone on to. See, IBL and Chicken both encouraged me to go on Twitch like a lot. That was Chicken's yeah. big thing was you need to get on Twitch. Um, you need to start. He kind of gave me the inside workings of Twitch, which is like, I guess it's harder to get your initial viewers on Twitch than YouTube. Right. But like once you get to that point, like it's kind of easy to keep gaining followers. Yeah. So. I just need to get my feet wet with the different platforms, I guess, and see how they go for me. Cause I honestly don't know anything about kick, but if that's the case, I mean, that couldn't hurt, you know, there's different marketing techniques. So I appreciate, you know, I've had a lot of really awesome followers that are female and it's pretty cool to know that I have, after the IBL incident, I had tons of women come out of the woodwork to kind of like, tell me I've been in a relationship like this, you know, that's the situation you know, very supportive. I have had a lot of people come out in support of what I do for a living, which is the animal stuff. A lot of females, I do think that they're supportive of the passion projects I want to have. And I think hopefully that's, I can kind of grow from that base and make something out of that instead of have the IP2 community be my backing. Uh, that's what I would like. And I think, I think it's possible. So I just, you know, I appreciate everybody who's stuck by me through the worst moments and, you know, they're supporting the, the good stuff.